Dr. Pescatore, pycnogenol, it's rich in bioflavonoids, I understand. What does that mean to the average person for our health? Yeah. Well, really all it means, I mean, pycnogenol is a natural substance. It is a bioflavonoid. It's in the class of OPCs. Um, bioflavonoids. Bioflavonoids. Okay. Remember that word because... <laughs> okay, we need to know it, right? Well, sure. I mean, just like antioxidant. People didn't know what antioxidants were 30 years ago. People right. didn't know what fish oils were 30 years That's ago. That's right. People didn't know what, what probiotics were. Now, everybody is, is comfortable and familiar with those words. People are going to become comfortable and familiar with bioflavonoids because bioflavonoids are the next class of antioxidants. Okay. So it's really just the next step. Like, where do we go from antioxidants? The vitamin C's of the world, the vitamin E's of the world, selenium, where do we go from there? Mm -hmm. And where we're going is into bioflavonoids. And bioflavonoids are a class of, of, of compounds, really, that come from, from all sorts of different natural products, like berries and fruits and okay. you know, all the things that, that That's we... That's the big blueberry thing, right? Correct, okay. absolutely. That's part of it. Mm -hmm. And pycnogenol mm -hmm. is in that same class because it comes from a pine tree bark. You know, a very wow. special pine tree bark that's only found in France, and it's in this pristine forest. It's been there for hundreds of years. And but it's, it's very unique, and it has a rich history, too, right? Absolutely. In the it's area. Been, yeah, the area. Hundreds of years they've known that these trees have had healing powers. That's probably why they never cut down the forest. And uh, mm -hmm. it's really quite fascinating. And, and so pycnogenol is a bioflavonoid. It's in the class of OPCs. I don't think people need to necessarily know what OPCs but are. But bioflavonoids Tuck that yeah. away, right? <laughs> bioflavonoids. Tuck that one away. That's, that's the pearl to take away from this is bioflavonoids because that's why people talk about this whole new class of, of antioxidants, the okay. ones that are going to keep us living longer. Resveratrol from, mm. oh, from yes. red wine, you know, that's mm -hmm. a bioflavonoid. Okay, that's good to know that, that frame of reference. Yeah, so it just gives people an idea of where we're going from here, where we're going with this. And pycnogenol is one of the leaders in, in the class of bioflavonoids. And what does this mean for our health? I mean, well, what it means for our health really is that we're discovering that there's so many different things available mm -hmm. to us to help us. Um, when you look at, and we're studying them now, which is okay. great. Yes. We're really putting them into, we're making the science happen, which mm -hmm. is so exciting to me as a, you know, as a clinician to yes. actually, and a scientist to actually look at science coming out. Green tea extracts, mm -hmm. resveratrol, all of these things, blueberries. They all have great scientific research. Pycnogenol, for instance, has over 40 years of research. So it's really remarkable when you look at probably more research than most other natural substances on the planet. I can't think of another one that, that's had so much research except maybe vitamin C. Vitamin C, yeah, that's the only one that comes to mind. Yeah, absolutely. And so therefore, when you're looking at these bioflavonoids, we're looking at how they can prolong life how they can get down right to our chromosomal level, which is really quite fascinating. Mm -hmm. You know, when you look at something like vitamin D, for instance, mm -hmm. vitamin D, I just read a research study talking about, it affects 2,776 points in our genomes. Goodness. <laughs> can you believe that? I can't. <laughs> 2,776, I only know this because I read this study yesterday. Okay. <laughs> so okay. I remember the exact number because I was flabbergasted by it. So these bioflavonoids, and not that vitamin D is a bioflavonoid, but we're finding out vitamin D is more than just a vitamin. I mean, it's a hormone. It does so many things for us. Mm -hmm. But, but pycnogenol, getting back to the whole bioflavonoid stuff, is truly remarkable because it's a super antioxidant. These, it helps other antioxidants do their job, and that's why it can help us in anything from inflammation to brain health, cognitive function, memory decline, uh, osteoarthritis, ADHD. I mean, so many different things that it's, it's remarkable. It's really remarkable. Excellent, so nature got it right. <laughs> nature always gets it right. It's when we start fussing with it when, it, when we okay. have problems. Thank you so much. My pleasure.